Welcome back to Tub Drugs. This is Travis here. So today we're about to talk about uh, what I use. I use burlap. Um, burlap. I said burlap. Burlap. Um, I do get my burlap from uh, Walmart.com. For those who um, comment on some of my other videos asking where did I get my burlap from. It was Walmart.com because um, when we first started... Um, we wasn't doing a lot of rugs, um, but then we started getting commissions, and we had to get a lot of burlap. Um, so running to Walmart, running to um, what well, an actual Walmart store, um, we was getting those, but they wasn't as long um, as I needed them because I had to make a bigger frame. Also, was going to Joanne's Fabric and getting it as well. So. I just thought I could just get the big roll from Walmart.com. So this is what the big roll looked like. All right, so this is my big roll right here. Um, you can get whatever feet that you want on there. They have a different one. I have the, um, I don't have the darkest one. I have the, I think it's the tan one. Um, Cause I know I bought dark before, but then it was kind of showing through some of my rugs, especially when I do like whites and things like that. Um, so I kind of got like a tan one. I, I don't think this is the lightest one. But anywho, we're about to talk about how to put this thing on. So a lot of people use the, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like the little carpet thing with the sticky stuff on the little stick and all that. Um, we did start off using that, but I don't know. It's running into some problems trying to um, pull it tight and things like that. Um, so... We didn't use that no more, so we changed to staples. So we bought a staple gun, of course, from Walmart. Got another staple gun, and then we got some, what is it, 3-8 uh, staples to go in there. So when we're done, we can easily pull the, uh, the fabric off. So only downfall with that is when you pull the, the uh, fabric off when you're done, uh, some of the staples fly everywhere, you know, so um, you probably don't want to do that when you have carpet around somewhere like a hard flooring that you can sweep the staples up. Also, when you pull those out, you'll have like um, little straggly ones um, that, that sticks up. And so before you put some more burlap on there, you I grab some pliers and I just kind of just pull them out. Um, if they're all the way in like that, I'll just leave them. But if they're out to where they're going to stick me or I can't put any more staples in, I'll just pull those out. So let's get to showing you how to um, get this thing tight. Because with burlap, if it's too loose, that's why I changed to, to, um, to staples because I can pull it very tight. Um, you're gonna gonna create tears in there. So if you you're getting tears, maybe your burlap or your fabric is not pulled tight enough. So I'm about to put this um, burlap on here and um, show y'all how I do it. All right. So what I do with my I usually start from the uh, I put my my roll on the left side. I'm having trouble connecting. I'll keep trying. Be quiet, Alexa. Don't worry about Alexa. Oh, yeah. And what I do is, I just kind of just, just pull it out until I have enough cross. So it's here. It's going to fall on me. So, let's turn you this way. And then what I do, I just basically get this so I can line that up like that. Make sure my bottom is good, lined up too. And then I grab my staple, stapler. I just put like a couple in here just to keep it up. And then what I do now, let me show you what I do. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see. All right, so I get this and I kind of pull. I pull this as I'm out of that go. Yeah, let me put some more staples in there. 
All right, like I said, I pull that as I go. And then my staples are probably like one inch apart, probably. Just so I can get it in there. And I'll do that all the way, all the way down. All right, after I get that done, like I said, if I get it all the way down, like I said, they probably like, probably like one inch apart. Not that, not that far apart. All right, so now, I come to my right side and then all I do is pull down. I pull down now. I'm gonna pull down and the same thing. Alright, so you're gonna pull down all the way down to the bottom. Alright, once I'm done with the bottom, and then I come to all the way down here to my left side and then now this part here you want to pull very tight all right so i kind of just grab it and i just pull it as tight as i can hit it with a stapler stapler and then keep going down all the way down and i promise you this is going to get this thing super tight might hurt your hand a little bit, but hey, it's better than having to start over with a big old hole in your in your rug, you know, while you're working. So I'm gonna do that all the way down. All right. So now that I got that side done, so now I'm at the bottom. So now same thing with the bottom. You'll pull down and, and staple as you go. So you don't staple your hand now. And the same thing, you're gonna do that all the way down. And as you can see, this thing is nice and tight like a drum, like you about to get ready to do the drum. This thing is super tight. All right, now after I'm done with the bottom, all I do, come to the side, and just cut all the way down. Cut all the way down the side of the frame, so I just like leave this much, you know, because sometimes as you're tufting, you might need to pull and tighten up a little bit more. Um, depends on how many of these designs you have on here. If you got one big design on here, you probably won't have to tighten this thing back up. Um, but yeah, like I said, you just come all the way down. Oh. And just cut this on off. Just like so. Alright, you just put that wherever you need to put it in your storage or whatever. So that's it there. Let me pull this closer. You can see how tight this thing is, man. So you have to make sure this thing is super tight. It's like beating a drum. I don't know if you can hear that. Let's get you a little closer. Like beating a drum. So yeah, you don't want that thing loose. So if you have it loose. You're going to create tears so those who ask me how do i use my why well how do i uh keep my burlap burlap from uh, tearing this is how making sure my um my burlap is tight on my frame this frame here um it measures around uh i think it's like 54 55 um so it's like a um a little bit over four foot um, because I usually do all my designs no bigger than four feet, so like a 40, 48 ish um, that I do my design. So, all right, so we're just going to show y'all how to actually use the gun. So, you kind of want to push in on your fabric because if you don't push in enough, you're going to create holes because you got to remember that it's a, uh, it's a uh, scissors on that thing, so you don't want it to cut your fabric. So make sure you push down and then it'll come out nice and thick. Like you want it to come out real thick. If you don't push in tight, it's going to come out like, like this is thick, but it's going to all look like real, like, um, real frizzy. And you're going to have a bunch of, uh, um, a bunch of this everywhere. You're going to have this everywhere. So all got to be everywhere if you don't push in. So, 
just make sure you push in enough so you can create that uh that nice thick rug so like i said don't push in like too soft because this stuff here when the scissors come out you want to be the scissors to be deep in there if they're too far out they'll cut that so that might be why y'all creating holes so just push in a little bit harder so if y'all have any more questions about you know what i do what i use um all my yarn i get it from um walmart and joann's um usually joann's only get like a certain color from joann's that's like a light gray uh, i usually get my light gray from joann's um walmart usually have um they usually have these right here i usually use these um because they're cheaper and they come bigger i think it's like four four something almost five dollars but if you get the uh, other brand i think this is the brand here it's actually a better brand but um but it's way more so i think it's like whew, about six seven dollars so you 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 know you're you're getting your money's worth with the with that brand with the cheaper brand um but yeah i choose this over all the other i choose the burlap over all the other um um other um canvases or backings whatever you do to tough your rugs um oh let me show you my burlap that i got from um i think this was from joann's yeah so i got this right here from joann this is the lighter lighter um this is the lightest i really love this this light here but like i said um, I can get a lot of different types of rugs on there so you can see the difference in color So I got the, the beige that's with well, the beige that's right underneath this um, But yeah on here so like uh, show you a couple rugs real quick So I got this rug here. This is like a it's a little bit over a 24 inches so So let me put this camera down all right, so this is why I use this frame. I love this frame because I can put as many shoes. So like I said, this is a little bit over like a 24, um, or like a 28 maybe. So look, I can put a rug here, and then I have some other ones. I can put one down here, see how much room I have. So basically, look at that. So you got one right here that can go right here. So that's already four rugs. And then I still have room back here to put a whole nother one. So boom. And then I probably could fit one down here. So that's almost one, two, three. So it's almost like five rugs that can fit on this here. Um, but when you're doing that many, when you're doing that many on this burlap and you're using the staples, um, it, it tends to loosen up. So like I said, all you have to do is just, just pull it just put add some more staples in as you go so you won't create those holes so that's the video man um if you got any other questions or any other videos or techniques you need me to um show you please comment at the bottom but um thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click that bell and um hopefully you enjoy all the videos man and all the rugs that we create here at tubs rugs man see y'all on the next rug peace